Speaking of aliens, offline, you mentioned elves. Yeah. And psychedelics. Yeah. What do you think about psychedelics in terms of the kind of places that can take your mind? the kind of journey you can take you on. Like what what do you think what is what do you think the psychedelics do to the human mind and what does that say about the the capacity of the human mind and just in general like the mysteries of all that's out there. I don't know that we understand what they do. Uh the way I heard it explained to me is that much of the human mind isn't about receiving information but blocking information right? Because we're so there's so much data coming in any moment that you basically have to train yourself to see and to hear only what you want to see and to hear. And that what psychedelics do is they tear that away and suddenly you're much more aware of what's out there. And also you're going to be noticing patterns that you hadn't noticed before. I know you had that researcher on the show and, and he kind of discussed this um, at some length. Um, I, I mean, Rogan is probably the person who popularized DMT more than any, well, he's obviously the person who's popularized DMT more than anything. Uh, it's I don't know anyone who have even the researchers who have anything close to a coherent explanation of why this drug, which is, exists everywhere, would have this very specific, very extreme effect on so many people who are going to be experiencing such bizarre consequences as a result of it. Um, I think it's very interesting that this is talking about the government, this, you know, the CIA started experimenting with LSD. They, they killed one of their own people, drove them to suicide. Um, and it, there was a lot of research into, Terrence McKenna talks about this, um, into this field. And then very quickly, once it got into the mainstream, they shut it down, even though it's not addictive, doesn't cause you to go crazy or anything like that. Um, and there was a lot of propaganda against its use, which I think thankfully is now somewhat receding. I think in Colorado, just legalized mushrooms, something like that. And I think it'll be very interesting to see what happens as a result of this. Yeah, and, and the interesting thing is there doesn't seem to be for certain psychedelics like psilocybin, like mushrooms, there doesn't seem to be a lethal dose, which is fascinating. Like Matthew Johnson, the the, the Hopkins professor that you mentioned, I'm definitely gonna do one of his studies. It's a, it's a really cool way to do uh, what he calls a heroic dose Oh, psilocybin. Oh, I want to do it. What do I have to do? Let's do I'll it. I'll let you know. So he's he is uh, a heroic dose. Holy crap! Yeah, but it's safe. What's a hero? I mean, how many grams are we talking? I don't. I don't know. But it's just it's it's, it's big. He's he says that uh, this is gonna have a kick. <laughs> yeah. So he says that. I mean, he also studies cocaine. He studies all kinds of drugs, and. He's like the psilocybin is <laughs> heroic dose of cocaine kills you. <laughs> well, he he you can't there you can't so you can't even come close. So he says like the problem with studying cocaine is you have like people who are addicted to cocaine, yeah, or war or so on. You give them the kind of doses that we can, and part of the study is like uh, it's it's nothing to them, right? Yeah, yeah. Psilocybin is the only one where like even like daily users or like regular users like are blown away by the dose they give them. Oh, fuck. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay, well, we're going back to Russia. <laughs> you can go to Russia in your mind. Yeah. Um, you can uh, go to outer space. Maybe maybe you'll become an astronaut or astronomer yeah. uh, um, after all. Maybe I'll be Baba Yaga. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll let people look that one up. Holy 